Jay Smith. Sorry, I still have sparks in my mouth. Um, I wanted to respond to your video, and uh, don't take this as me trying to defend Muslims, but when I was a Muslim, uh, these verses were not allowed to be used. And even the more radical people, and we all believed, um, we all read Milestones, we all uh, fully supported all the works by the quote-unquote Wahhabists. Although that's a very arrogant name for them to take since Wahhab is uh, a name for God. <clears throat> and we believed all that. But the only problem is there is no Islamic State. And in an Islamic State, um, they have to rule with all the precepts and all uh, the mercies and punishments without exception. And it must be a pure Islamic state to enforce these laws. Uh, this is the reason given why Prophet Muhammad could not uh, commit any acts of violence before uh, he gained Medina. Because a state must be established first. And if you, you must have the state to apply any of this. And even if the state is pure and this and that, if it has one law, let's say it, it allows Christians to ring their bells. It's not an Islamic state. If it if it gives a more severe punishment than is in the Quran, it's not an Islamic state. You have to have an absolute pure Islamic state to even begin jihad. So uh, the belief that we held was that we needed to gain an Islamic state, even if it was like Microasia or something like that, before any of this war could be carried out. So it was very important for his bitter here. Uh, I really loved their literature when I was a Muslim. By the grace of Christ, now I'm part of the Eastern Orthodox Church, uh, saved by the grace of Christ, and I um, I view anybody who holds to the Nicene Creed as my brother in Christ. Maybe they don't have the fullness of faith, but they're still my brother in Christ. I'm sure you hold to the Nicene Creed. We are Catholics. Uh, I guess you would say little c Catholics, that we're all little c Catholics, which that's good. Uh, I'm assuming you say that since you seem to believe in the hypostatic union and the Trinity. Um, but uh, this is, I think, can be a saving point from a lot of these things. Yeah, it doesn't change the verses. It doesn't change the fact that people want to implement them. But uh, when you bring this up, I think this can stop a lot of the violence. If Muslims were to educate themselves, they would see that they have to gain a Isla an Islamic state that is totally pure, and they have to do it by peace, just as Muhammad did. They have to do it as Muhammad did. Uh, so I think there's a way to stop the violence by educating Muslims and educating them in Orthodox Islam. To say, look, if you go out and do this... Uh, not only are you currently living in Jahiliyyah, because remember, Jahiliyyah is here because there is no Islamic State. You can't implica implement a single one of these laws. Uh, again, I'm not trying to defend Islam. Uh, this is just how we, uh, I believe that when I went to the Masjid, then again, that was over 10 years ago. That was uh, before 9-11, before being Muslim was politically correct. So I got a lot of from the same liberals who were standing up for Islam today. I was getting horribly bashed. You know what the funny thing is? I've been a liberal all my life. I mean, I'm more moving now towards libertarianism, but I, I don't see these people as joint clasping hands with Islam as being liberal. I think they're cowards. Peace to you.